Hey Jed here with Blick Art Materials and I love light. I love painting light. I love seeing light on a subject. It is actually the one thing that makes me want to paint the variety of subjects that I do paint. The way that sunlight comes in and it radiates and it shows the different forms and all the kinds of things that light does. Or at nighttime, if, if you look at a city scene or moonlight coming down, it's the light that really makes me want to paint anything that I paint. But what about painting light as your focal point? What would that be like? So I wanna show you today the way that I paint light as my focal point. This is a technique that will help you create a painting that ties together, but it also really radiates that light. And um, I'll show you a quick demonstration, then I'll show you in a longer painting uh, that sped up what it would look like if you went through the whole painting. But let's jump in and see how we'll do this. First of all, I've got my heavy bodied acrylics here. This is just white. We're gonna use this uh, later in the painting we would, but we'll have cadmium yellow, cadmium orange. This is quinacridone red. This is ultramarine blue. Those are the main colors that I'm gonna use right now for this part of the painting. I've got a, a canvas here. This is a Blick canvas panel. Um, a nice surface. You could use an, a, a wood panel. You could use a normal canvas. It wouldn't matter that much. And this is a process that takes um, more than one coat. But the main thing here is to get a gradation of color. And so I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna eventually mix in some of this and I'm gonna mix in some of this and then I'll, I'll even mix in a little bit of that. And when we think about a focal point, we usually like to think in terms of dividing our canvas in thirds and you'll do that horizontally and vertically. And then you think about where do those lines, they come across and they meet. And so a general rule, is that it can be kind of a good idea to have a focal point that's in one of those intersections. And um, so I'll just choose this. It doesn't really matter for our, our demonstration. I'm not really painting anything particular, except that I want the sunlight to be coming through and radiating through. So I, I've chosen my yellow. I mix a little bit of orange into that. And we've got a bit of this uh, radiating color starting. And if you need to grab a different um, you know, brush to have something that's a little bit clean, you can do that. And we're gonna do this a couple times. So now I'm getting a little bit more of a pure orange color and start bringing that around. And you can see that because it's on a, a deeper gray surface here, uh, it's coming through, like the dark is coming through a little bit, and that's okay. Uh, I just wanna say that from the outset that it's okay. We don't have to be too worried about that or anything um, because we're gonna do several coats of this. So don't stress and try to make it cover right now. Just let it be. Now, I'll do another coat where this is, uh, I mean, another round of the red. But what I wanna start doing is I actually wanna start adding a little bit of white, just a tiny little bit of white. I don't wanna to get too deep right yet. It starts with the light yellow, it moves out to orange, to more of a red orange, and then it's, it's gonna end up moving more towards a grayish uh, color, but even with a little bit of violet, we'll mix in right now. So it goes out towards um, these colors. You know, we can see, okay, here's where, here's where, you know, the light is directly coming from right here. Now, first coat may not be perfect gradation. It may not, you know, look perfect, but what we're doing is we're, we're really building this up. So this, this will be covered up. I'll do another coat right now. I'm gonna dry this with a hairdryer first. 
Okay, so we'll grab the same colors. We'll do the same thing as we've got our gradation here. We're going to work our way back through that. And this is really just going to bring those vibrant colors up in their uh, opacity. It's going to help them cover and it's going to make this a very vibrant and bright part of the painting. Um, when we have the first coat on, it looks pretty bright until we start putting the second coat on. And then we start seeing, oh wow, there's, there's still a lot of room there for this to become brighter. And so by creating a really light focal point there with the, that light being super, super, super bright, is that we are creating a focal point that will draw you in. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate for you what this would look like if you followed the process through in a whole painting. Okay, this time I'm painting on a black canvas. It doesn't matter. Usually I use gray or darker. Uh, and I'm painting a tree that's got light shining through and everything besides that focal point of the sun is going to be working to make that sunlight um, be the focal point. It's going to be pointing back towards it. So you can see I'm already doing a third coat and it will take a while for that to dry but now I'm getting the sunlit areas that that light is radiating towards us and it's, it's creating a backlit kind of scene and everything back there is is going to be reflecting and uh, atmospherically kind of showing that there's a really bright light source and one of the things that I want the one of the reasons I wanted to show you this is because it's a little bit backwards most of the time a lot of us learned how to paint the background then the middle ground then the foreground but what I'm doing now is painting generally the background after I'm shaping everything by the background so this is where it gets really fun see now I'm putting in the sky and the sky is this bright white color that's that's now shaping that tree and now we can start seeing oh look at that that's what that is but every part of this is working to make the sunlight that very brightest part of the sun be the focal point and be what draws our eye and so sunlight on the ground shadows that um, go where the the sunlight is not hitting all of it is pointing back towards this and you can see how it might work if you were if you were using this technique to create a whole painting it's very fun and it works together very well but it might feel a little bit backwards at first so just keep working at it All right, that was really fun. I hope that you had a good time and that you learned something about how to make your paintings really vibrate with that sunlight. Make it so that people might even think, oh, I, I can't look at that because it's so bright. But it really draws them in at the same time because we love the light. And you can actually paint something that will give people the opportunity to stare at the sun. Well, on behalf of Blick Art Materials, my name is Jed Dorsey. Thanks for being here. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or you can come to Acrylic University where I teach people just like you how to have fun and paint, and we have a great time together. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.